thousand seasons ago, the world was a very different place. Instead of the small prides we know today, all lions belong to one of three great kingdoms. The Moon Kingdom, the Sun Kingdom, and the Storm Kingdom. The Storm Kingdom was favored by Kansu, the Wanderer, goddess of travels, wisdom, and rain. The Sun Kingdom was blessed by Suns, the Trickster, goddess of wrath, life, and the sun. Her eye watches as long as the day is light. The Moon Kingdom was blessed by Azra, the Guardian, Sansa's blind twin sister and goddess of mercy, death, and the moon. Once per generation, each great kingdom had a leader divinely chosen by their goddess. This chosen lion ruled their kingdom until the next Chosen came of age. Ugh, all this lead-up is boring. Get to the part about Kyoga and her one true love. I don't hear about light, and I kicked Karabi the Terrible's butt and saved the world. Spark, that's not how it happened at all. Do you ever listen? Enough. If you don't settle down, I won't tell you the story again at all. Yes, yes Grandmother. Ow. Oh, where was I? The Great Kingdoms fell because of Azra's chosen leader of the Moon Kingdom, Kyoga. Here she is! Shh! After generations of hostility between their two kingdoms, Kyoga was said to be bonded to Sansa's chosen lion of the Sun Kingdom, Light. Light and Kyoga fell deeply in love. Both kingdoms eagerly awaited their bonding day and the peace which would follow. But just before this ceremony, Kyoga was kidnapped by a monster. An evil, jealous lioness known as Karabi. Karabi stole Princess Kyoga away from her love and her family. Mother, are you filling their heads with nonsense again? It's history, Power Strike. It's important. It's cool. It's boring. If it doesn't fill bellies, it's not doing us any good. Are you ready for the hunt, Sharp Tongue? Hmm. I suppose I am. No! Does she have to? <laughs> oh, don't be so upset that you have to spend the afternoon with your dad. Dad! dad!